Hello boys and girls and welcome back to 5B Unit 7. We're going to try parts 5 and 7 today. Make sure that if you feel part 5 is enough, then you can go ahead and stop the video when you finish the first part and then continue it with it tomorrow. So we're going to start with point 6. I'm going to go like that. So that's 6 tenths. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to say, we're going to give you times 10. And all you need to do in these type of problems is count how many zeros that you see. I see one zero, so that means that my number is going to get bigger and I'm going to move the decimal one spot. So my 0 0.6 is going to make it go whoop that way and it's going to change into 6. Okay, so let's try another one. If I have point Seven five times ten. Well, I have one zero, so that moves. I'm going to move my decimal one spot, so it's going to be point seven five. Now, if I, on the other hand, had zero point seven five, try this again times, let's say a hundred. Now I have one, two zeros, and you only count the zeros with the ten hundred thousands. You don't count any other zeros. I have one, two zeros, so I'm going to move it one, two spots. And I'm going to get 7.5. And that would be my answer. Now, if I have the same number, 0 0.075, and I times it by a thousand, what do you think we do? Yep, count those zeros. One, two, three, and I move it. One, two, three, and now I have 75. So when you see 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 times a number with a decimal, you don't even have to figure it out. All you do is count to zero and move that, that, that many decimal spots over. All right, now, if, we have, let's say, a number that's maybe um, 78.2 times 100. We'll have one, two zeros, so I'm going to move it from there, one, two. So that means I have 782, but again, I moved it one, two. I have to put a zero there. So when you have to move it and there's no more numbers, just put a zero in its spot, all right? So that pretty much sums up when you're multiplying it by tens or hundreds or thousands, okay? So you just move it and make the number bigger. And sometimes it might get confusing, but I know if I had one cookie and I multiplied that cookie by 10, I would have a lot more cookies, right? So therefore, when you're doing this, you have to think, I'm multiplying, I'm making more, so my number gets bigger, okay? So now, we're gonna go on to thinking about what would happen if I took that 10 and I changed it. What if I took that 10 and I changed it to a four or a two? or a three. So let's change this to a four, a three, and a two, okay? Obviously, my answers are gonna change a little. Now, I see there's a zero here, okay? So I'm still gonna do this move there, but then I'm gonna just times four by the number. So four times five is zero, carry to two. Four times seven is 28 plus two, is three zero, right? And four times zero would be zero. But I had a zero here for the 10, so I know I'm gonna move that one space over for the zero, and that should work. Now let's double check. I have 0 0.075 times, remember I don't have to line anything up, 40. Well, I know the zero, zero, zero is gonna be zero, across, I hold the spot, four times five is 20, put down the zero, carry to two, that's 30, put down the zero, carry to three, and then four times zero is zero, 
and then I bring the three down, add it, I'm left with 3,000. But remember the teacher goes, she's gonna go one, two, three, and you gotta move it, one, two, three. And I get that. So that means that this didn't work, right? So what I need to remember is that when I'm doing it, my zeros have to be correct. Okay, I can't just skip through because then it's gonna make my answer wrong. So my suggestion to you is to do this and then count how many spaces because that tends to work. And you know that when you do it that way, it checks, it makes sense, and you can see it. All right, so let's try this next one. I have 0 0.075, right, times 300. So I know I have 0 0.075 times 300. I know I have two zeros, so I'm just going to bring them down. 3 times 5 is 5. Carry to 1. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. Put down a 2. Carry to 2. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, so you see how I did that. I just took the zeros, put them down. That's fine to do. Now I'm going to count. I have 1, 2, 3 numbers after the decimal, so I'm going to have to go 1, 2, 3 backwards. And there we go. 22, 5, 0, 0. So let's do this next one, okay? This one I have three zeros. Remember, I'm not lining up the decimals with anything else, so I have 0, 7, 5 times 2,000. I'm just going to count one, two, three zeros. I'm going to put down one, two, three zeros. Two times five is zero, carry to one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15, five, carry to one. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. Now, I'm not done because I have one, two, three spots. So I'm going to move it one, two, three. So you see how I used the zeros a little differently. I still counted the zeros, I still counted the spots, but I just brought them down and multiply. So when you do it, make sure you take your time to multiply it out and checking it makes sense. All right, so we're gonna move on. And that's more of something that you just need to practice and then it's gonna kinda come to you, but it's very important that you master it because when we do percents, and we do all those type of equations where you gotta know which way it's going. This is something that if you practice it now, you'll do a better job later. All right, so now we're gonna move on. And the next part for section seven, feel free to stop now, is going to be multiplication by a two digit whole number. So if you feel that's too much right now, then go ahead and stop the tape and I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, let's go on to number Seven, section number seven. So the first one says multiply. So we're gonna have three, two, seven, eight times 23, okay? So first in your mind, you're gonna think about estimating. You're not actually estimating because they don't want you to estimate, but it's gonna help you to come up with your answer. So I, this is about 20. So I have three, two, seven, eight, times 20, correct? So let's see, if I have that, then I know that I'm gonna put it down here, because that's easier. And remember that zero thing? Put the zero down, it holds the place, you don't have to do anything. The reason I'm doing this is, it wastes time to go like this. Zero times eight is zero, zero times seven is zero, zero times two is zero, zero times three is zero. Then you're gonna go in the next line and put a zero there. So the zero is gonna be there regardless. It doesn't make sense for you to waste time drawing zeros when you know it's gonna end up being zero. So I'm just putting a zero down and then eight times two is six, carry to one. Seven times two is 14 plus one is 15, five carry to one. Two times two is four plus one is five and two times three is six. So now I have my answer. And make sure when you do commas, you always go one, two, three, count backwards to make your comma. That's my answer, but remember, I estimated. Now let's look at my actual answer. I had 3,278 times 23. Okay, well I know, now I do it a little backwards, so kind of ignore me. I always start by, because sometimes I used to forget, so I always start a second, but I'm gonna try for you to do it on a first. Eight times three is four, carry to two. Seven times three is 21, plus two is three, carry to two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight and three times three is nine. 
All right, now I've done that, I'm going to erase the numbers on top so I don't get confused. I'm gonna put my zero and we're gonna to go to my next line. Two times eight is six, carry to one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15, five, carry to one. Two times two is four, plus one is five, and two times three is six. And I have four, nine, three, five, six. Okay, and that is all. And I go one, two, three, and put in my comma. All right, so that is all you need to do with that one. And um, that's how you solve it. Now we're gonna add in decimals, okay? So let's take the same type of problem. Let's do 12.65. And we're gonna times that by 23. Now, we're gonna do three times five is five, carry to one. Six times three is 18, plus one is nine, carry to one. Notice I'm going like that. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. Three times one is three, okay? Now I'm gonna erase these little things so I don't get confused. I'm going to this number, so I have to put a zero to hold the spot. Two times five is 10, put down a zero, carry to one. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13, put down a three, carry to one. Two times two is four, plus one is five, put down a five. 2 times 1 is 2. I add it up. 5, 9, 0, 9, and 2. And I go, I'm done. Nope, because there's a decimal. Remember, the decimal for multiplication is like that roller coaster. The teacher needs to look for them. She found them, so she's going to go 1, 2, people, and she's going to go 1, 2. And there you have it. 290, 290 and 9,500. Okay, so that is pretty much the extent of what you need to do for um, the problems for section seven. Now, I'm just gonna show you one more thing using this one. If it says estimate the value of, then they're gonna just want you to estimate the whole number. So if I have 12.65, <clears throat> I'm gonna say that's about 13. If I have 23, I'm going to say that's about 20. Put the zero down. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. 260. All right, so does that look about right? Mm, yeah, it's a little bit smaller, but it's about right. Okay, so that would be my estimated answer. And then let's do... This one, if I estimate it completely, then I would make this 20, right? And I'm gonna estimate the top two. I'm gonna make this 3,000. Well, I have two times three is six. I have one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. And that's all I do. So when you're doing the multiplication, all you're doing is counting zeros, and then you put them in, and then you multiply the numbers that are the whole numbers, not the zeros, all right? So that's all for this multiplication lesson. Please feel free to go back, take notes, write down what I have, stop the tape, and come along and ask questions if you have them. See you next time. Bye.